Around 600,000 years ago, Earth entered one of the harshest climatic periods of the Pleistocene epoch. In this context, nature gave rise to many giant animals, the giants that dominated the food chain. From about 2 million to 11,000 years ago in the vast and harsh lands of South America, a strange creature ruled the plains and savannas like a true giant god among herbivores. Its name was Dodocurus clavicaudatus, weighing up to 1.9, 2.4 tons and measuring about 4 meters in length. Its most striking feature was a thick bony carapace covering almost the entire body forming a mobile shield against predators. They lived mainly in the grasslands of South America near water sources in what is now Argentina, Uruguay, southern Brazil, and parts of Bolivia and Paraguay. They were herbivores consuming large amounts of grass and low vegetation. Due to their massive bodies, they moved slowly. But what truly made Dodocurus an evolutionary marvel was its tail. Its tail carried a massive bony club reinforced with fused plates. This structure could be used as a powerful defensive weapon strong enough to break an enemy's bones or even strike rivals during territorial battles. During the last ice age from about 2.6 million years ago to around 12,800 years ago, a giant creature dominated the food chain in North America. Its name was Arctodus, the short-faced bear. Arctodus was one of the largest bears to ever exist. Adults could weigh up to 801,000 kilos and stand over 3.5 meters tall when upright. Its defining feature was a short, broad skull that allowed extremely powerful jaw muscles combined with its massive size, making it one of the most fearsome predators in North America. Studies suggest that Arctodus may have been omnivorous, both hunting prey and scavenging from other animals. With long legs and a tall frame, they could run surprisingly fast for their enormous size. Megalocalus, also known as the Atlas Giant Tortoise, was the largest land tortoise ever known. Adults could weigh up to 2 tons and grow over 2.5 meters in length. This species lived from the Miocene to the Pleistocene about 11.6 million to 126,000 years ago. They carried a massive shell on their back strong enough to withstand most natural predators. They were distributed across South Asia, especially India and Southeast Asia, extending as far as Madagascar. Megalocles primarily fed on grasses and leaves. Thanks to their enormous size and gentle herbivorous diet, they played an important ecological role in maintaining low vegetation cover. In a world where herbivores, dense forests, and savannas stretched across vast regions of South America about 12,000 years ago, there was a creature that stood out not only for its size, but also for its unusual appearance, Lestodon armatus. Unlike its modern sloth relatives, Lestodon was a giant measuring four or five meters in length and weighing up to three tons. Its diet was entirely herbivorous. With a strong skull jaws and teeth, it consumed leaves, branches, fruits, and roots. It was also an efficient digger using its enormous curved claws not only for defense, but also to uproot plants and knock down shrubs. Its body structure was unique with heavily muscled forelimbs and a thick tail. Studies suggest that this species could stand on its hind legs, using its tail for balance to reach taller vegetation. About 10,000 years ago in the African savannas, a strange animal dominated the vast horizons of the ancient grasslands. Its name was Megalotragus. The name Megalotragus literally means great goat or giant antelope, a title that hardly captured its true majesty. They stood over two meters tall with a robust body and an unusually thick skull. Its elongated head carried thick curved horns that extended outward from the skull resembling those of the African buffalo. Their dentition featured broad teeth suited for grinding plants indicating a primarily grass-based diet. In prehistoric Australia from about 2 million to 46,000 years ago, there lived a unique and deadly predator. Its scientific name was Thylacoleo carnifex, 
also known as the marsupial lion. Although a marsupial, it evolved into an apex predator, weighing 100 ton and 160 kg and measuring about 1.5 meters in length, Thylacolio had razor sharp incisors and premolars like blades combined with powerful forelimbs and large claws. Uniquely, it had a specialized claw on its thumb resembling a curved dagger which could slash or stab with deadly precision. Anatomical studies show that Thylacolio had an extraordinarily powerful bite, the strongest relative to body weight of any known mammalian carnivore. It was also capable of climbing trees, even carrying prey aloft to keep it safe from scavengers. Around 46,000 years ago, when wild Australia teemed with life, a gigantic figure roamed the arid grasslands and open forests, Procoptodon. Unlike modern kangaroos that hop, its short, powerful legs, upright body, and strong forelimbs suggest that Procoptodon could walk bipedally using its sturdy frame and tail for balance. Procoptodon was a giant kangaroo standing two to three meters tall and weighing about 200 kg. It had a broad skull, powerful jaws, and specialized teeth, indicating a diet of tough fibrous plants adapted to the arid climate that dominated much of Australia at the time. From about 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago, alongside many other giants such as saber-toothed mastodons, and even the first humans in the Americas, there lived a strange creature resembling a gigantic armadillo encased in a shell of stone. This was Glyptodon, a remarkable animal that lived mainly in South America. Glyptodon, a close relative of Dudicurus, measured about three meters in length and weighed over one ton. Its armor was made of hundreds of interlocking bony plates forming a true shield against predators in harsh weather. The anatomy of Glyptodon shows a low sturdy head suited for grazing, while its flat teeth were adapted for crushing tough plant fibers, indicating a diet of grasses and low vegetation. Its body was as rigid as a moving fortress. Its short tail was sheathed in bony rings, functioning as a defensive weapon capable of striking or driving away predators. During the Ice Age, more than 2.5 million years ago, there lived a strange creature resembling a rhinoceros with reddish fur. This was Chelodonta. They stood about 2 meters tall, reached up to 4 meters in length, and weighed 2 to 3 tons. Their most distinctive feature was a thick coat of fur adapted to cold climates. They also had two prominent weapons, their horns. The larger front horn could grow over 1 meter long, and was used not only for defense, but also for digging through snow to reach hidden vegetation. With short muscular limbs, a sturdy body, and a low center of gravity, this rhinoceros had excellent stability on slippery snow-covered ground. Unlike its modern African relatives, Coelodonta was a slow-moving wanderer rather than a fast runner. Yet, despite its lack of speed, it was highly resilient and well-adapted. They were widespread across Europe and Asia, frequently depicted in prehistoric cave art. Bison Priscus was an ancient steppe bison weighing up to 1-200 key with horns that could extend over 1 meter on each side. They first appeared around 2 million years ago during the early stages of wild ecosystems inhabiting the steppes of Eurasia and North America. With thick fur, high shoulders, and upward curving horns, this steppe bison was built to survive in a harsh world. These animals lived in large herds traveling hundreds of miles in search of food, grazing on tough grasses that grew even beneath the snow. Its massive size and ability to scatter in defensive runs made it a natural fortress against solitary predators. The steppe bison largely went extinct by the end of the Pleistocene, but their descendants are today's European and American bison. With its swollen, flexible nose that looks as if it came straight out of an ancient fable, the saiga, antelope, saiga tatarica, or simply the saiga, is one of the most unique antelopes on Earth. Originating from the vast Eurasian steppes, the Saiga antelope is a relic of the Ice Age. 
This medium-sized antelope is mainly found in Kazakhstan, parts of southern Russia, Uzbekistan, and Mongolia. The saiga is a true nomad traveling thousands of miles each year in search of seasonal pastures and shelter from extreme weather. The most striking feature of the saiga antelope is undoubtedly its nose, a flexible bulbous structure that functions as a natural filter against dust and sand in summer and warms the air in winter. This evolutionary adaptation not only makes the saiga visually distinct from other hoofed animals, but is also vital for survival in harsh environments. Today, this unique antelope survives only in small populations across Central Asia, severely threatened by hunting and disease. In the vast untamed lands of Eurasia, a massive creature reigned supreme, Mammothus trogonderi, the steppe mammoth. Emerging around 700,000 years ago, the steppe mammoth was one of the most impressive members of the mammoth genus. It was among the largest elephants ever to exist, standing 4, 4.5 meters tall and weighing up to 8 tons. Its most distinctive feature was its massive curved tusks, reaching up to 5 meters. With a large skull, powerful defenses, and a long trunk, the steppe mammoth embodied adaptive strength. A thick coat of fur covered its body, protecting it from the piercing cold of the glacial steppes. Its sturdy skeletal frame and powerful limbs suggest it could travel long distances in search of food and safety. Fossil evidence found across Europe and Asia shows that it was widely distributed ranging from present-day France to eastern Siberia, extending through China and as far as Ukraine. Alongside the giant animals, we cannot forget the ancestors of humankind, the genus Homo. At that time, several Homo species coexisted. Homo habilis is regarded as the first to use stone tools, while Homo erectus was the earliest to leave Africa reaching Asia and Europe. They were not Homo sapiens, but other human branches shaped through thousands of years of struggle and adaptation. Their shelters were simple, made from branches, animal hides, and stones. Caves provided safer refuge. The mastery of fire gave them light warmth and greater safety. Fire also allowed them to cook food, reduce disease, and expand their diet. This can be seen as one of the greatest turning points in human evolution. Life was full of challenges. Sudden climate shifts and advancing glaciers forced humans to migrate. They also had to compete with large predators. Many Homo species went extinct, leaving behind only bones tools and traces of DNA within us today. Genetic evidence shows that Homo sapiens interbred with Neanderthals and Denisovans. These genes influenced the immune system, cold resistance, and adaptation to high altitudes. This proves that we are not solitary survivors, but carry within us the legacy of many ancient human species. The world, 600,000 years ago, was a vivid panorama of giant animals. They reflected a wide range of adaptations from the armored shell of Glyptodon, the tail club of Dudicurus, the powerful jaws of Thylacoleo, to the immense strength of Mammothus. However, Earth's harsh climatic cycles drove most of these megafauna species to the brink of extinction. Their disappearance paved the way for a new era where Homo sapiens rose to dominate the biosphere.